So my name is Lindley Chambers, I'm the race director for the Sort 30, which is the race that we're at now. This is the UK Trail Running Championships middle distance event, so a 30 mile event at the end of the season. You know, really competitive, really fast event. And if you want to know why you should do it, well, if you look at the sky, it's nice and sunny. It's always a great day here. And John Barnes, I'm hopefully going to try for the win. My name's Suzanne Connors. So I started running four years ago um, and I was a total beginner. Um, and in the four years, I went from running coach to 5K to 30 miles. Uh, my name's Sophie Carter. Um, I'm here today because I enjoy the course and I ran it um, two years ago. And it was just after I lost my mum, so it kind of holds a sentimental value to me. My name's Rhys McCullough and I'm from Stevenage. I ran 50 miles yesterday, so coming here today to run 30, so I could do 80 miles this weekend. The course is alongside the River Stort, all the way out to the River Lee and then a short section on the River Lee before coming back on the same route again. The course is all nice, runnable riverside paths, so scenic trail with the river to one side. Get set. Wait for it. Go. So this race is the third in the UK Trail Running Championship event. This is the middle distance. We have an ultra distance, which is the Ridgeway 86, which is held in August. And then we have the Forest of Dean Half Marathon, which happens earlier in the year around, around February, March time. All three of them really competitive, so people can come and race all three. These races are all managed by the Trail Running Association, which is the equivalent of UK athletics for trail running. We administer and manage all the rules and all the trail running for the, uh, for the UK, and we license and permit all the races in England. We provide grants to runners who perform well, such as this race, the first male and female finisher who are members of the Trail Running Association here will get a grant to run a race in the future, either abroad or here. Well done everyone. grants to race organisers to help them build and promote more events um, and make trail running more accessible and, and bigger in the UK um, and we obviously represent runners and organisers and help them to uh, you know, keep them within the rules and making sure that they, uh, that they comply with the rules but also that we're there to support them through that process. We've got, you know, well over a thousand members now um, and, you know, it, it's just growing and growing. Trail running itself is the biggest growing discipline in UK athletics over the last four or five years. We've gone from three or four hundred permits issued three years ago to just uh, in the next year it will be somewhere around 780 permits which is something like 120,000 runners over all the races so it's, it's a fantastic number. Yeah, my first ultra. I, I've, I've trained quite well for it so. So second place, you must be pleased. Yeah, I was happy. I was, I was hoping to come like minimum top three, sub 310, which I did, but I was, I was hoping to run sort of a bit, a bit more even pace than I did. Somerset. I'm here today because it's British Trail Running Championships and I've been told that it's a really beautiful course, which it is. Uh, I was hoping to get under 3.30, which I did, and um, to run a good race and have a good time, really. It's fantastic as a first time event, as a first ultra, because it's well marshalled, well marked, the trails are all runnable, and it's an out and back, so you get to see the fast guys you get, and girls, and you get to see them run through you and high five them. 
and it will provide fantastic food on the checkpoints and really look after you and obviously a fantastic medal and t-shirt at the end of it um, which you know we think is brilliant. first ultra and it was a flat one and I thought why not and I come back the second time to see whether I could do better than the first time and I proved I could do it so. That was easy wasn't it? Oh it's so easy, the best, easiest thing I've ever done. Easiest 80 <laughs> miles you've ever run isn't yeah. it? The course is just pretty all the way along. Um, about half of it's graded and wheelchair accessible parts or a really fast course, which is why it's a competitive race for the guys and girls um, and why we had somebody equal in the male course record today to the absolute second and we had the ladies course record go down by about five minutes so that was obviously pretty cool to see um, the course is just it's just stunningly beautiful it dries out really quick even though we had rain last night and it's just a nice pretty trail run it's brilliant 